People are pouring in, infesting our country. I will build a wall. They're not people, they're animals. Politicians, media, some, not all, but some community members use these words, and these are the words that welcome newcomers to our community every day. My name is Dorota Blumczyńska, and I'm the executive director of the Immigrant and Refugee Community Organization of Manitoba, fondly known as IRCOM. IRCOM strives to empower newcomer families to meaningfully integrate in our communities. Safe transitional housing, English language classes, money management training, after school programs for children and youth. We embrace our families so that they feel loved, supported, and valued. And IRCOM wants to change that narrative. With your support, we're going to launch a refugee youth mental health project. Basically, we're going to put cameras in their hands. Cameras don't care if you don't speak English, if you can't read, if you've spent years in a refugee camp and you've never had access to schooling. Cameras, frames, photo paper, exhibit space, mentors, our youth will put an image to their disillusionment. They will display their humanity. 30 years ago, an eight-year-old together with her parents having fled civil war and spending over 400 days in a migrant camp, came to Winnipeg. They came with empty hands and empty spirits. I was, I am that child, and migration broke my family. My mother grew tired and weak and ill, and only eight years after arrival, she paid with her beautiful life for my freedom. Alone, my father lost hope, and at the age of 16, I became a ward of the child welfare system, and I was silenced and forgotten, and I had no outlet for my grief or my terrible cold loneliness. Our children, with your support, will not be silenced and forgotten. We can build a wall, a wall of images and dreams and portraits and metaphors and possibility and love and humanity because we're not animals. We're people. <laughs>